it is not a subject matter that is given a lot of gravitas and so people expect you to be able to just do like a little snippet here a little snippet there so it felt really good when our class was accepted and you wanted to give us the space and the money for six individual classes that were part of a larger whole um, so we just felt like we could expand so much more um, and lay so much more groundwork that we don't often get to do in a lot of the other um, work that we do teaching. I think that part of the reason why Boborg is such a compelling and exciting initiative for New Orleans is that it spans the arts, it spans the humanities, it spans like basic human needs classes like about sexual education that may be overlooked in traditional school systems. Um, and it oftentimes is, is really exciting because the, the curriculum is entirely decided by the people who want to teach it. Um, it's really empowering as an educator to get to think about what what needs my community might have that I'm able to see day to day with engaging with the people in my life and in, in my community at large and be able to creatively problem solve about how a, a class that's open to them might be able to best address those issues. The Boberg School offered an, um, an opportunity for me to actually kind of cast away some of those limitations that a consumer-driven education system puts on artists and educators and researchers because we have to make the and typically an institutional education provider um, you know you have to sell the class you, you need to make sure that there's going to be enough tuition coming in and with the initiative that was um, set up with the Boberg school it, it it made it such such more of a free experience not f I mean free financially for the participants but also free conceptually which I think is a really important thing um, because I can I can guarantee that the syllabus that I was teaching has the full integrity of, of anything that I would normally offer to any group of students um, however it didn't have the tried and true backing of years and years of institutional vetting which I think is also an important thing to kind of allow these new kind of unknown realms to unfold. Whenever you're talking about arts education or art classes, music classes, anything of that sort, more typically you're looking at something that is focused on the mechanics of getting started with some sort of medium, uh, whether that's how to draw, whether that's how to play an instrument or how to act in a setting. And so one thing that's been really great about the Bobar classes is a lot of the courses are focused more on how do we think about art and how do we think about artistic ideas and how do we interact in artistic ways. And I think that that is something that is not really present in a lot of classes that are available to the public. The really great thing about the Boberg School is it's providing that opportunity to people without the prerequisite training per se you know and I say prerequisite not that it's necessary but that is a lot of times uh, you don't find these conversations unless you've had a lot of training and then to be able to provide those sorts of opportunities for learning to the community without that background base knowledge I think is really important in terms of fostering a community that cares about art and is able to experience and understand art uh, in their own specific ways and because that's really what it's about it, it's art is not about understanding why something is important but art is about understanding why something is important to you and being able to have conversations in which you explore those ideas are really important so I think that is what the Boberg School is providing to the community and I really appreciate that and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of that I had a lot of I mean latitude to 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 uh, make use of like what it meant to, ha to have like a whole bunch of people I, I didn't know sign up to be part of a, um, a dance workshop that would have a, a performance component. Um, it seems like a great opportunity to meet a lot of different people from different parts of the community that I'd never met before. Uh, and, that is, and that is indeed what came to pass. It was extremely exciting. It got interrupted by a global pandemic. Um, and even like in 
coronavirus times, um, I've been able to stay connected to the resources at Boberg and make use of them. Um, and I like continue to like reimagine the kinds of offerings that I want to make to the community. And like Boberg is like the channel that I can like they make it possible. I believe in the quality of the the teachers and what they're offering. Um, and that they're teaching with a lot of integrity and to offer those classes for free really feels like a radical act that the vision is holding space um holding space for diverse people with diverse interests um and bringing them together to to skill share and that feels like a radical act to me and it's um something i'm really grateful for in the community something I, I make use of as a student something i make use of as a maker and a person who wants to facilitate community um it's like an obvious place that I, I would like want to be a part of. I think having it first of all be free, not having to cost anything, especially in this time of a pandemic, people were very excited. And in the classes, what I got from the classes, like tell everybody what you learn here. And that's something that I and Lizanne really want is that you're ambassadors of sex education to go out into the community, into the larger community of New Orleans, Louisiana, the South. America, the world, and really offer what you're learning here to the world. And I think that that's something, there is this thing of ownership around intellectual ownership. And the Boborg School, I just felt this freedom to teach whatever uh, I thought was appropriate and uh, important and around health and well-being and accurate too, right? You know, that we had anatomy and physiology, but that this wasn't something that was owned by the Boborg School, that we could go out and teach the same curriculum other places. That's so rare, right? That's really saying, no, keep going. Reach out to the world. Like, we don't own your, what you're teaching here. Um, I think that felt really good. And it, and it also encourages others to keep teaching outside of um, an ownership model, an ownership of intellect or art or things like this. I decided to teach a book club on all about love because I think that in education I find that in traditional school systems there's so much emphasis placed on discipline and organization and um, setting rules and setting boundaries that oftentimes curtail people's ability to like have an emotional experience in a classroom and so I wanted to experiment with what it might be like to create a class that's like entirely constituted around discussing feelings and personal experiences of like the most intimate thing that we get to experience as humans. I mean I, I had read this book a few times before I decided to teach it. Um, and I think something that I spoke about in the class sometimes was that every time I read it, different things stood out to me. Um, but what was most interesting and special about this experience is that I got to not only read the book through my own life and my experiences and my perspective, but the perspective of every single person who decided to show up for that class, um, which was really It was interesting. It was like I got to love as many different people instead of just as Lauren. My experience was that the Boberg School allowed for a way more balanced power dynamic between whoever is ostensibly the teacher and whoever is the student in the scenario. And that was one of the most refreshing things for me was that it allowed me to actually lean into the student role of teacher um, and also allow the other students to fall into their role as also able to help teach it through their personal experiences and, and it was it just kind of leveled the playing field in terms of who's in charge um, which is something that I crave in the in the in the way that I the pedagogy that I believe in is way more horizontally
There's not this significant barrier to entry that you see with a lot of arts classes in uh, that it's really open and that it's easy to access. And so I really appreciate that about the school. It's been one of the things that I think is really one of the strongest aspects of, of what the school is doing in terms of providing access to the arts inside of the city of New Orleans. I think it's really amazing actually having a um, an institution dedicated to this. So both, um, and what I mean by that is both your um, physical building, right? That people know that it's there and people can show up there to like, be like, oh, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure something is. Right. So just having that physical presence, um, but then also maintaining just consistent structure makes it more available to people. Once the class got going and people started telling their friends about it, we had people that were like, oh, that's really cool, but it didn't fit into my schedule or I missed the first four classes or, you know, when are you going to offer this again? We can actually say, cool. So follow the Boberg. Actually, they will have a course catalog coming out. Like they have a lot of things going on and it was a, it's a nice to be able to direct people to that and offer some sort of consistency. All the feedback we got is important. Like, yes, all the positive and also the ones that were like, hey, we would like more of this, right? And that's so fascinating. And so also having that open conversation of feedback from our um, community and offering, giving more you know, expanding what we can offer, even if we don't all have all the information right now, that that gives us like, oh, we get to go research what else we can do, which is um, a way for instructors and professors to increase their knowledge so that they keep having inspiration to teach more.